Hello, I'm Scott Ryan. Thank you for joining me. I'd like to, first of all, thank the people of the state of Iowa who participated in the caucuses tonight. As I make this video, only about 97% of the results have been reported, but it's clear that the vast majority of them got it right. And I knew that the people of Iowa, middle America, have a lot of sense. Yet, I stand amazed by how the moderates on Fox News subtly portray this. The prudent people of Iowa tonight have outright rejected the only liberal in this campaign, and that's Mitt Romney. But you wouldn't know that if you were to listen to these panels. Here's a study for Brent Bozell. Let's have a count on which candidate's name was mentioned the most tonight. And I guarantee you that that candidate would be Mitt Romney by far, followed by Rick Santorum. And Santorum should be the name uttered the most because what's happened with Santorum is impressive. And I think that the 300 appearances he's made in Iowa have a lot to do with his surge. He's earned it. Santorum has earned it. But, Rit, but Mitt Romney has earned nothing. Mitt Romney has earned nothing. What Romney has shown is that money can only buy so much in politics. That's less than 30%. Roughly 25% of the electorate falls for the Ken Doll appearance, the elegant hair, and the hollow narrative about Romney's business experience being transferable to what he would do in government. The other 75% do their research. And what this indicates is this multi-millionaire has spent almost eight years campaigning in Iowa and tens of millions of dollars on advertising, yet 75% of the people soundly rejected the foolish notion that his business experience before becoming a career politician means that he's going to have be any different than any other moderate who preceded him. There's simply no evidence to support that notion. The fact that he conceived of, much more promulgated, the notorious harebrained scheme that was a, pre a precursor to Obamacare is all the proof that one needs to demonstrate his lack of judgment. Then there's his duplicity on every social issue and his denouncing of Ronald Reagan when running in Massachusetts. I can go on, but frankly, all one has to do is look at Romney's record. Do your due diligence. The vast majority of Iowans clearly did that, as demonstrated tonight. The majority of those who identify themselves as evangelical Christians, the majority of those who identify themselves as Tea Party participants, split their votes actually between Rick Santorum and Ron Paul. Who do we have left? The moderates of the party, the what they call the establishment, they certainly weren't throwing their vote behind Gingrich or Rick Perry or Michelle Bachman. So let me ask you, why does Fox News for the past four years declare Mitt Romney the front runner? Why is it that almost every time they release Obama's poll numbers to show how poorly he's doing, Mitt Romney gets to be the one candidate whom they use to demonstrate how Obama would fare if the elections were held today? Throughout the evening, I have frustratingly listened to them declare Santorum as the generic anti-Romney candidate. Now, if they're going to be fair and balanced, what is it that gives a guy who campaigns for eight years and spends $100 million, yet cannot get above 25%, or maybe 30% at best in another state? Why does one of many candidates garnering such a dismal amount of support merit their constant attention. Furthermore, 
why would Santorum be the quote-unquote anti-Romney candidate when Romney is the Republican candidate that polls constantly demonstrate is hands down the candidate that 75% of Republicans least want. Now, if you're going to be fair and balanced, Mitt Romney should be dismissed by the media because all five of the other candidates consistently receive the anti-Romney vote. Not just Rick Santorum. Mitt Romney is the Democrats' dream candidate because he successfully inoculates Obama from just about all of his most ignominious positions, including, including Obama's biggest weakness, which is Obamacare. Romney would be unable to criticize Obama's worst positions with any rectitude from whether you're talking about abortion, gay marriage, Obamacare, because he supported all of them. Can you imagine how that debate would go? Inoculation at its finest. So what's left for... So if Romney won the nomination with his meager 25-30%, what's left for him to highlight in the debates or on his campaign? that couldn't be totally dismissed. His Wall Street experience? Running a chop shop? That's going to go over real well. That's going to be exceptionally well received by the vast majority of American voters because we all know they're just really thrilled with Wall Street right now. But cooler heads have and will continue to prevail among GOP voters. The only question is, Will cooler heads prevail amongst the among the lower tier candidates who've had their chance to shine, but blew it. And if those heads don't come to their senses and drop out of the race, our party will once again be hijacked by the one candidate that we all agree we detest the most. Thank you for joining me. I'm Scott Ryan.